Hi, I'm Akash, and today we're going to be talking about another alternative to the H-1B visa, the O visa for outstanding ability. Now, the O visa is like the H-1B, a long-term non-immigrant visa, which is to say that it allows you to stay in the U.S. for multiple years, but does not confer on you the same rights as a permanent resident. The O visa is granted to those that have outstanding or extraordinary abilities in a field of science, technology, research, education, or the arts. The primary O visa is the O-1 visa, which applies to aliens that have extraordinary abilities. Now, these abilities generally fall into two classes of applicant, uh, A class, which covers those with achievements in sciences, education, business, or athletics, and the B class, which covers the arts, motion pictures, or televisions. Now, these two classes have different standards of achievement that are required for an applicant. Generally, you'll have a much greater uh, level of achievement required from those in the first class as compared to the second. But even between different fields in the same class, you will have different standards that apply. And uh, you can go into this with your attorney more to determine what the standards would be in your field and whether or not you meet them. Now that we've talked about the O-1 visa, which is how those with extraordinary ability arrive, let's talk about the O-2, which is how those necessary for their services or work are going to arrive in the U.S. A secondary class of O visa is the O-2 visa, which applies to assistants and associates of the primary O-1 visa holder. Now, these are those people whose work is essential for the conduction of the O-1's work. Uh, for example, it can be a research assistant for a scientist, a uh, coach for an athlete, a key man that comes along with a business person, a key member of the production for someone that's undertaking an arts or motion pictures visa. There, there are different responsibilities that these people can have, but generally when you look at them, in order to qualify for the O-2 visa, they have to satisfy the conditions of the O-1 visa holders class. So for those that are coming along with O-1A, visas, they have to be an integral part of the O-1 holder's activity. And those that are coming along with O-1 B-class visas, they have to demonstrate that they're essential to the production that the B-class O-1 is undertaking. So now that we've talked about all those with extraordinary abilities and all those necessary for their work, let's talk about what happens to their immediate families, that is, the O-3 visa. Finally, you have the O3 visa. Now, this is a derivative class of visa that applies to immediate relatives. Now, immediate relatives are essentially the spouse and the minor children, which is to say the children below the age of 21 of those that are granted O1 and O2 visas. Now, as derivative visas, they're subject to the same period of admission, the same validity, and the same limitations as the O-1 or O-2 visa that they're a derivative of. What this means is if you're going as the spouse of someone on an O-1 or an O-2, you will be having an O-3 that is for the same duration and subject to the same limitations as the O-1 or O-2 of your spouse. So as you can see, the O visa is a useful alternative to the H-1B that provides you with a route into the U.S. based on advancements and achievements across a wide variety of fields. To see if an O visa is the right vehicle for you, consult an immigration attorney. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, uh, comment with your thoughts, share it with uh, friends and family, and subscribe to see more content.